Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Purple, take everything you grand, and always mind you all. Hello, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, is all about how I get my John Fashanti inspired tone. So, uh, straight off the bat, I will say that it comes all from pedals. Uh, I only use the amp for a clean pedal platform. The amp isn't doing any of the heavy lifting, it's just there for power and clean. All the sound comes from these four pedals here. Uh, we're gonna use Yorin Super Crush today. Uh, we're using the Dirty Channel, but it's set totally clean. And mainly it comes from these pedals. Reason for that being is, I want a, if, if I travel with this pedal board and I want that sound, which invariably I do being a John nut, uh, it doesn't matter what amp I plug into because the tone is here, not there. So that's the reason uh, I use uh, pedals to get the sound. And I've done that for ages anyway, I just prefer it, it's, it's kind of like, it's just better, because I, I know as long as I've got this pedal board, jobs are good. So, um, so yeah, basically it's these four pedals, let's start here, this is the Marshall Jackhammer, uh, it's my always on pedal, well, one of my always on pedals for the John tone, it gives me the dirty clean tone uh, of John, because I say John's clean tone is not clean, it's dirty clean, it just sounds a lot cleaner than it actually is. So the Jackhammer's given me that. The next pedal in line is the Past Effects Chorus Ensemble Mini. This is giving me not only a C1 kind of modified, uh, 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 modeled kind of chorus, it's also giving me the preamp boost uh, that John uses uh, in his uh, C1 chorus pedal. Uh, I have mine set differently to John. John normally has his preamp set to 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and in the high mode. Uh, I have mine set in the low mode, and I have the level cranked all the way up. Uh, I just find that works better for me. I, I have tried it the John way of having it in the high mode and having the level turned down, but I don't like it. So I, I, I have it in the low mode and have the level cranked all the way to the max. Uh, I always set the chorus at one o'clock as well. It doesn't really change unless I'm after a specific sound. Um, but this pedal is always on as well. And that's um, basically a, an extra bit to this sound. I feel this pedal adds a little bit of sparkle on top of uh, the jackhammer. If this wasn't there, I can get away with just using the jackhammer, but I do like this because it just adds a little bit more presence to the sound and that's really, really cool. Uh, people ask all the time, will this on its own control a Boss DS2 and an Ivan Ezoir? No, it won't. You still need that compression from either an overdrive pedal or your amp slightly overdriving, even that dirty clean. This will not make these two happy on its own. And uh, when we get to the sound examples in a minute, I'll show you that. I'll start out with the orange clean, uh, jackhammer off. Uh, so basically just the chorus ensemble on. I'll start off with it totally clean and I'll show you what happens to the DS2 and the Ivan Ezoir. They, they still jump up in volume. So you do still need an overdrive pedal or your amp to be overdriving slightly to give that dirty clean tone. The chorus ensemble alone will not do it. So, um, so yeah, so that's another always on pedal. Next pedal, Boss DS2, a need for the John tone. It really is, I, mean, I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, I would pick the DS2 over Fuzz pedal any day of the week, because this is the pedal that John's had most consistently on his board since he started with the Chili Peppers, you know, it's the Boss DS2. And mode two, with everything maxed out, just seems for me to be the, the sound, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. I would pick that over a, a big morph or any, you know, a Mose right or anything like that. Boss DS2. Uh, next pedal, Wawa pedal. Very important for John. Uh, I'm using the Triangle Labs uh, Wah WHX here, but the Ibanez V2 or V3 will do just as good job. Um, I basically have this thing kind of set flat out. Basically guitar mode, preamp dial all the way up, master volume all the way up. Same with the Ibanez Wars, just everything cranked. And that's it, people with the tube. It's literally just these four pedals. The zoom isn't there for anything. It, well, it's not for this sound. The zoom is just there. I don't use it. And the governor isn't there for... Uh, I don't use that. And I don't use the Mel 9 for the John thing either. It's just basically these four pedals here. Um, and the jackhammer is the most important uh, to get the John clean, the dirty clean tone and to control these two pedals. This is the one that's doing all the heavy lifting. Uh, the chorus ensemble backs this one up, but it's not doing as much heavy lifting. It's uh, the, the, the jackhammer's literally got these two pedals on its shoulder and it's carrying them. It carries them with ease. So anyway, um, 
so that's it, people with tube. Um, I do have a, a video called my YouTube pedal board, which I did recently, where you can see how I have these pedals set up. So if you want to go and find that, it'll I'll give you a close up of how I've got these pedals set up. I'm not going to go into that today. So uh, without further ado, let's get to sound examples. So like I said, I'll start out with just orange set clean, uh, the Past Effects Chorus Ensemble on. And I'll show you the DS2 and the Ibanez while we dust that sound, just to show you it doesn't work. And then I'll click on the, the jackhammer and show you how it changes the sound radically. Uh, I'm going to use the Oswald John Strat today as well because it seems fitting. So without further ado, let's get... there you go um like i say it's definitely a more kind of john era 1999 californication era tone which is my favorite tone of john's so i've kind of gone for the darker more overdriven tone 
I do love the By The Way era tone, I do love the Stadium Arcade era tone, but I definitely prefer the darker and warmer tone of Californication sound, and that's what I've kind of gone for here. This is That's my kind of go-to John tone. Um, but that's that's what I use, that's how I get it. Like It's basically, like I say, these four pedals, that's my chorus preamp, that's on all the time, that's simulating the dirty, the, the dirty clean. DS2 for lead. Uh, wah for wirings, obviously, you know that. Uh, and that's it. That is literally it. Uh, all the reverb was coming from the uh, the orange. Uh, and that's literally it, people of the tube. There's nothing else to it. Um, and once you understand that John's tone is actually more distorted than it appears, things kind of fall in place. Like I said, hopefully you kind of heard... I don't know how well you'll be able to hear the volume jump because of the compression that gets added to these videos on when I hit YouTube. But... With just the chorus ensemble, when I hit the DS2 and the Ibanez Wah, the volume is it's louder and it, it's such a harsh sound. And when you kick on the jackhammer, it has the impression of it going quieter because it's a more warmer sound. It's weird. It's not any different on volume. It's really strange. But uh, it just has that impression. But it, it just sounds more close to me. And it's just a lot more kind of pleasing to the ear than it does with just those two. Um, but yeah, that's how I get it, people tube. That is literally it. I say it mainly relies on pedals. Well, it all relies on pedals. Uh, I don't know why I said mainly. Well, I suppose mainly is everything, isn't it, really? I don't know. He's an idiot. Anyway, but that's the pedals I use. That's why I use them. Like I say, the jackhammer's doing all the heavy lifting. This is kind of backing it up. DS2 for lead. Wah for all the wiry bits. Uh, and as long as I've got a single coil kind of, you know, guitar, these will give me that sound, which is really, really cool. Uh, and I like that. And I like the consistency of this as well. Like I know I can get this sound through any kind of amp. I can get it through a Fender with these pedals. I can get it through a Mesa Boogie or uh, a Black Star or whatever. I can get this sound regardless of the amp. As long as the amp gives me a nice kind of clean sound, these will take the re take me the rest of the way, which I'm very, very happy about. So, um, so I hope this video made sense. I hope it's okay. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again tomorrow for another vid. Uh, until then, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. And uh, yeah, goodbye now, Fagman D. Fortune.